This is Ronnie Harris, lightweight, United States of America, out of Canton, Ohio, 20 years of age, student at Kent State University, about to wage a fight for a gold medal in the lightweight division of the Olympic boxing competition. He is a southpaw. Standing with him is his coach, Pappy Galt. His opponent is the defending gold medalist in this division, Joseph Grudzian of Poland. The referee will be Senor Real of Spain. It has been some kind of an evening here in the Mexico City Arena. We have seen the light flyweight gold medal go to Francisco Rodriguez of Venezuela. We have seen the gold medal in the flyweight division go to Ricardo Delgado of Mexico. We have seen the gold medal in the bantamweight division go to Valery Sokolov of the Soviet Union. And then the great controversy the disqualification of Al Robinson of the United States in the Bantamweight Division and the awarding of the gold medal to Antonio Roldan, allegedly because of a Robinson butt against Roldan that caused a tremendous gusher of blood from Roldan's left eye. We begin round one, Ronnie Harris. Watch the southpaw style, the right lead, against Joseph Grutzian of Poland. Lightweights, wait, Limitation, 132 pounds. Red pants belong to Grudzian, the white trunks to Ronnie Harris. Harris has excellent footwork, has a good right jab, fair power with the left. 60 bouts in pre-Olympic competition, 56 victories. Grudzian has the experience. Ronnie's only 20, Grudzian is 29. Grudzian is very good with his left jab, very good. Then likes to set up the right with it and move inside. Immediately, we have a caution against the American for not hitting with the knuckle portion of the glove. There you saw Harris left, but Grudzian was moving away and it did no damage. This has been a frenzied evening in this arena. I wouldn't want to be around if a Mexican fighter lost. Round one lightweight championship bout Olympic boxing competition, Mexico City Arena, 19th Olympiad. Harris, U.S., white trunks. Throwing that right lead quickly again and again into a hole. Another caution against an American fighter, Ron Harris. Two cautions in this round. Pappy Gall has spent months and months and months teaching his fighters the international rules. But tonight, in the first American fighter's appearance, Al Robinson, disaster. Still another caution. Too low blow to Ron Harris. Now on these cautions, the five judges at ringside who score on a 20 points per round basis can discretionarily deduct points or deduct none. 45 seconds left to go in round one. Grudzian of Poland, defending gold medalist in this lightweight division in the red trunks, Harris in the white. Good right by Grudzian. Good left by Grudzian. He is a good fighter. Experience shows. He knows how to move in, score, and move out again. Left by Harris. Oh. Another hour of our 44 hours of exclusive coverage Coming up with this reminder that the Olympic Games, live from Mexico City, are being brought to you by the Ford Motor Company, where better ideas mean better cars for you. And by Texaco, makers of Sky Chief, the gasoline that can drive down the cost of driving. And now, back to Howard Cosell. Once again, you're looking at Ronnie Harris. American, lightweight, between the first and second rounds of his title bout against Joseph Grudzian of Poland for the gold medal in the Olympic boxing competition here in the Mexico City Arena. Ronnie's coach, Pappy Gold's hovering over him. 
Seconds out. The first round, round is not overwhelming in its action, but there were three cautions registered by the referee against Harris. Joseph Grudzian, defending gold medalist in this division in the red trunks, is the opponent. Talk about oddities in the Tokyo Games in 1964. Grudzian won the gold medal by beating another American named Ronnie Harris in what was then the most controversial decision in boxing in those games. This Ronnie Harris is only 20 years of age. Grudzian is 29. And as you can see, Harris has the southpaw style. Remember, coming up later this evening, live and in color, the climactic battle, George Foreman, 19, heavyweight out of Pleasanton, California, against Ionis Chapoulis of the Soviet Union. Having seen Harrison, oh, a good left there by Grudzian. But having seen Harrison his other bouts in this arena and in this competition, I would say he is more aggressive tonight than he has been heretofore. He has been a very cautious fighter and indeed was lucky to win his last contest on a decision. Much of this crowd still buzzing over the ending of the Roldan Al Robinson fight, where Robinson is disqualified for butting, opening a big cut over Roldan's left off left eye. One and a half minutes to go, and this the second round. <coughs> left lead by Harris did nothing. Right cuff to the left jaw of the Polish fighter. Harris sticks and moves, though. He's got some professional poise in the way he uses his feet. That's the best thing, really, about him. One minute left in round two. You'll have to admit that the Polish fighter, Joseph Grutzien, in the red trunks, is the aggressor. At least tries to be, moving to the inside where he likes to do his damage. Well, another caution against Harris. Left to the face by Harris. This is a much better round, I think, for Harris than the first round. Harris in the white trunks. United States, Grudzian and Poland in the red. Grudzian is the defending gold medalist in this division. Favored to win again. They are lightweights. Oh, good left by Harris. Good right. That's Ronnie Harris of the United States, lightweight, waiting for the start of the third round, listening and nodding as Pappy Gall, his coach, instructs him. At the end of the second round, the Seconds referee, out, third and final round. who was Senor Real of Spain, went over and issued another caution to Harris. This fight seems to be to this observer, even up to this point, depending on how many points, if any, have been deducted from Harris's score because of the cautions. Second round was an excellent one for Harris. He fought his most aggressive round in this Olympic boxing competition and scored with the left and right both. There are two quick right jabs. Very effective. Keeping the Polish fighter Grudzian away. Grudzian in the red pants, defending gold medalist, and Harris in the white trunks. See Harris bounce and move and spring on those feet? Well, that was a caution to both fighters. This competition is becoming a, an exercise in cautions. <laughs> Ronnie Harris of the USA against Joseph Grutzian of Poland with two minutes left in the bout. See Harris get away from those ropes quickly. For a youngster of 20, 
He's showing very, very good poise in there. Still another caution to Ronnie Harris. Harris got in a right jab. Gretzian missed with his right. You saw it. One and a half minutes to go. Harris with a right jab and a left to the midsection. Harris with a good left and a good right. Harris now very aggressive. Harris very aggressive in scoring. By far Harris's best fight in the competition, but don't count on anything in terms of who'll win the decision. Still another caution to Harris. Cuffing behind the neck, apparently, on that one. It's not always easy to read what the referee is saying. We have less than a minute to go. All right, now there's a warning. A warning against Harris by the official. That means he would deduct a point. Well, he, he cautioned uh, the Polish fighter. Another caution against Harris. Now, American fighters have not received anything like the cautions and warnings they've gotten tonight in the finals in all the competition up till now. There's a caution against the Polish fight. We have 20 seconds left in the bout. Heaven knows how the judges are scoring this in view of all of the referee's cautions and the one warning to Harris. 10 seconds left in the bout. That's the end of the lightweight division championship bout between Ronnie Harris, whom you see there going to his corner, mouthpiece taken by Pappy Gall, and Joseph Grudzian, the defending gold medalist in the lightweight division. One would like to pass an opinion on the likely winner of the bout. In truth, this was Harris's finest bout by far in the Olympic competition. But in the face of all the warnings, uh, all the cautions to be technically correct. I repeat, it's impossible to predict a victory for Harris. However, I'm sure of one thing, he surprised the very experienced and very good Polish fighter with his aggressiveness, because he had not been an aggressive fighter in previous bouts. Now, Harrison, bowing to the crowd, is getting applause. Up till now, there were jeers. There were jeers for Al Robinson, who was disqualified against Roldan, and jeers when Harris entered the ring. It may be that the crowd has seen enough of cautions to these fighters. And there, of course, is the defending gold medalist, Joseph Grudzian of Poland. This will be an interesting decision because Grudzian did have for himself tonight one whale of a battle. Let's see how it goes. Five judges have all rendered their scorecards. We await the announcement. The ceremonial procedure speaks for itself. Ronnie Harris, a student at Kent State University. There it is! Apparently, the referee's cautions were not taken that seriously by the judges. Harris, fighting much his best fight, becomes the first American fighter to win a gold medal in this, the Olympic boxing competition. Just 20 years old, a kid from Kent State University, but a guy who moves with the feet and sticks with the jab with the poise of a professional. Ronnie Harris wins the gold medal in the lightweight division. That's the story up to this moment in the Mexico City Arena. We'll return with more of our exclusive coverage of the Olympic Games from Mexico City right after this message. I'll figure out about Japan. Here it is. Box amateur. Well, this is the award ceremony about to begin. Ronnie Harris of the United States out of Canton, Ohio and of Kent State University receiving the gold medal. First prize and Olympic champion from the United States of America, Ronnie Harris. 
premier prix. Now let me make this very clear. Ronnie Harris has just Ronnie received Harris. the gold medal from Avery Brundage, the, the president of the Brundage. International Olympic Committee. Bologna, At the specific Jose request Ken. of Pappy Gall, Second who is the coach of the Bologna. boxing team. There is controversy here and there is sure to be backfire because you will remember the black athletes of the United States track and field team refused to accept a medal from Avery Brundage and he made no medal awards to black athletes during the track and field ceremonies. But it was Avery Brundage, whom you see in the left corner of your picture, just part of him now, who put, there he goes, he is now placing another medal, a bronze medal, on one of the losing semi-finalists. Third place. But you can be sure that this action, at the specific request of Pappy Gault, will produce a lot of repercussions from both sides in the United States of America. of the award ceremony quick wrap up the United States up to this point has won six medals in the boxing competition one gold one silver four bronze and nobody picked them to win anything before they came to Mexico City Howard Cosell from the Mexico City Arena